Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome back to Subnautica. First of all, I've got to say a massive thank you. All the comments you're giving me, all the great feedback is really helping me along in the game. So much has changed, like now I know you don't have to find the solar panel blueprint so I can get my base squared away. But this episode, as promised, we are going to go and take a good look around in here. Oh my god, right, okay. <laughs> Hopefully that bit of gold will go away or whatever it is. I hope it's not glitching all the way through this base. Like I said, I'm in experimental mode. You can see what mode I'm in up the top there. Right, we've had a go at this. The solid state drive. Download data. Can't do it anymore, done it. This is exciting times, this is. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. And access it, we will. Ooh, look! Oh, yeah! Right, we're going to scan this first. This is a proper adventure, this is. Ion crystals. These alien cubes each store the equivalent energy of a small nuclear detonation. The alien technology is able to keep the stored atoms in a perfectly stable state. However, under the right conditions, the reaction could be recatalyzed and the energy released in a controlled manner. They were likely used as batteries, storing power generated at the main reactor and then transported wherever they were needed. Ooh, assessment. Possible source of escape velocity energy. Little bit more of the storyline there. How much room does this take up? Hey, let's have a self-scan before we go any further. Performing self-scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting uh -oh. skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. That's not rock and roll, is it? Huh? Did I look up yet? It's been up there. What's that? Just lights. This is actually really spooky. <laughs> Loving the way the power comes on. Another computer. I'll have that. How much room do these take? Just one slot. Sweet. I'll take it. Thanks. So I wonder if that teleport is actually working now. Here we go. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Let's get a little look. This data set appears to be a... Do you mind? Integrating new PDA data. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of the facility's internal workings, which may help identify a way to disable it. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by no means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. Top tip, the location is not listed but there is evidence the design is intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Ew. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where the schematic was found and the control room which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Happy days. I don't I haven't got another key, have I? No, there are more about though. I think there's one downstairs. Can I still get in this? Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Right, I haven't got another key, so I've got to go back upstairs. Which isn't an issue because I get to play in the lift again. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, that is epic. We get we jump back in the sea moth and we'll go and do the lower moon pool now. Still got to go to Life Pod 19. Ain't been there yet. It's <laughs> the, the phantom lump of stuff. It's this way, in it? Yeah. Look. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's eating my sea moth. There she blows. Welcome aboard, Captain. Why, thanks. Ooh. Oh, that's such an immersion killer. Look at the size of that. I wouldn't mind harvesting it, though. There it is. The moon pool door. Go away! Let's just drop this here. I'd love to see what's, what kind of subs the actual native aliens had. Well, they weren't native, were they? they they've come from somewhere else. Bit of a beast, though. I'm betting I could get my Cyclops in there. Not sure though. I don't know how much they've changed to Cyclops. I don't think we'll be meeting any beasties in here. This is another teleporter, isn't it? Well, that's not entirely cool. Let's go through it. We can work through this. There seems to be no... like, system that's not up, is it? Another bit of the good stuff. All for me. I feel like Indiana Jones. It's fantastic. What am I like for storage? Wow, that's bright. That looks really cool. Did I do this door? Yeah, that's the way I came in. This is just amazing. I think I can see the other key. There she blows. I'll take it. this floor? I can't remember. No. <laughs> Go away! Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. And as luck would have it, we has got another key. Turn that off. And that. I'll probably forget later and won't. Oh, naff off. Look. There she blows. Quick look behind it first. I still keep expecting xenomorphs to be jumping out of roofs and things. It looks very predator alieny, doesn't it? It's awesome. 
Look at that. Right, let's do this. Look at that. Disable facility. Oh, we all know how this is going to go, don't we? Individuals may the not disable. The panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads: Warning: Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Yeah. Now you know what that garbled message was a couple of episodes ago. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. Yeah, baby. This is exciting, right? Let's have a little look at that as well. Energy core. Massive energy readings from this structure indicate it is the main reactor power in the facility. Artifact terminal. Didn't you just give me new stuff? It's okay. It's okay. There it is. Integrating new PDA data. This device contains functional information regarding a second alien facility on the planet. Disease research facility, personnel seven, function, live specimen study. Ooh. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium, designated CARA or CARA. Method, infection of live specimens with bacteria, observation of immune response. Surviving specimens sent to primary facility for further analysis. Let's move this down. Precautions, remote containment and research sites to reduce risk of contagion. Off-site thermal power generator. Ground to air quarantine with enforcement platform in case of security breach. In the event of outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. The facility was built at a depth of 700 metres, approximately one, kilo one kilometre southwest of the enforcement platform. I know where that is. I know where that is. Yes. Right. That was a hell of a lot of fun. But, unfortunately, we are done here. Get off. So we know why the sunbeam got shot down. Okay. Back in a seam off. Gonna have to have a look around here because this used to be a good place for bits of cyclops. That is quite frustrating. Ah. Safe depth. Used to be a reaper leviathan around here. Where is a little monkey? There he is. That's our first sighting of the of the reaper leviathan in this game. In this playthrough. I'm going to stay away because I've got no self-defense at all at the moment. Caution. Passing safe depth. Right. I've got to have a look down there. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I haven't got my rebreather on, so I'll have to be quick. I'll take it. Just because it's a spare, you know. That lithium again. Magnetite. Okay, what I'm going to do while we're still out and about, I've got, I think I've got water on me, I'm not sure. No, I haven't. But I'm going to head over to that Life Pod 19. I have been there yet. I've never been there. This used to be another one of my go-to spots for diamond, but it doesn't look like there's any on here anymore. Yeah, 
there is. Look, there's tons of it. No, I haven't bought my rib. Yeah, I have. There it is. Where's he gone? Let's pop that on there. Stasis rifle. Like it. Like it a lot. One out of two. They sting. Violet bow. I believe you can actually reach the surface here. No! Uh oh! I know there's a massive cave here somewhere. No, it's not here. I'm in the wrong. No, no, it is. Somewhere around here. Wow, look at all this! I'm gonna need tons of these. These aren't usually this abundant. <laughs> That's epic. Right, happy with that. Only oh, come out for a drink. Right, so I came back for some food and water. Found all of those teeth. That's well handy. Happy with that. Get in, you punk. Now we're going back to 19. Hang on. Beacons. Off we go. What's that? Is that the power cell charger? I think it may well be, you know. Yeah. One out of two. Just keep our little eyeballs peeled. Welcome aboard, Captain. What's in there then? Not a lot. Ah, the other bit. Well, that tears it. I'm going to have to make a base. Very, very soon. That hurt. Got fish slapped. Caution. Passing Ooh. safe depth. Caution. Passing yeah, safe I depth. Yeah, I know. Keep rattling on at me, don't you? Good, we can bash down there, easy peasy. We'll get a bit more distance. Caution. As long as we stay above 200, we will... Hey, says... Depth reached. Hull damage hey, imminent. We'll leave it there. <gasps> What's this? What's that then? It's a shiny flash thing plant I stalk let's scan me again I'm okay we will get oh, more infected fishy wishies we got one of those fish yet let's go and get some of the air let me in We go. Oh, that's an unlucky landing. That PDA straight off the bat. I'll take it. Integrating new PDA data. Another one. 
integrating new PDA data. Thanks. We'll read that in the safe. Ooh, shiny. Plasteel tank. Ooh. Lighter build allows for enhanced maneuverability. Don't mind if I do. New blueprint acquired. Bit of the old magnetite ain't eh? no, there. That's not magnetite. We got it. Mercury ore. I'll take that. Oh, you. What was biting me in it? Oh, it's those spitty, blooming, horrible, lurgy things. There's loads of gubbins in here. Right, I remember that. 30 seconds. Where's me? There he is. 30 seconds. Oh, let's have a little look, look, look at those PDAs. Aurora survivors. Tall crew, if you're reading this and you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life board on computer. Contrary to protocol, I'm forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates. Rendezvous? <laughs> at the nearest landmast. Uh, Keen, this is Aurora, come in. I hear you, Captain. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they're your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Explosion aboard the Aurora. Captain. Dun, dun, dun. Well, now I want to go there. Ah. Oh. Damn it. I'm going to have to go home for a little while. I want to start building a base, but things keep happening and stuff. I will get a base built if it kills me. It probably will. In fact, what I could do is start off in the island, build a base on the island, an underwater, above water base. Because the Grand Reef is directly below it, which will then lead me to the, what's it called, the Lost River biome, which is another stunning biome. I might build down there again, in the Tree Cove. That was fantastic last time. Cavey goodness. We've got to, haven't we? Hmm. I'm leaving an, uh, a thing. I'm leaving a, a what they called, you know, a thing. Come here, bitey fish. Yeah, you're not so bitey when I've got my knife out, are you? Now you're gonna get chomped. Push that out. And I will edit it this time. What's it called? Jelly Shroom. Biome. There we go. Sorted. Stop biting my submarine. What, what, what? close was that? I've actually been here as well. This is like a gnat snacker away from my base as well. I didn't know there was an entrance that close. Okay, right. I've grabbed my builder. Oh my. Right. So you don't... <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks whoever told me you don't need the blueprint anymore. I've been hunting around for them for ages. I didn't... Oh, for the love of God. Right, okay. So let's pop a quick solar panel on here. Probably won't come on. Well, it won't come on until, until the daytime. What? Is it already coming up? The sun? It is. Power restored. All primary systems online. Schoolboy error. So we should have checked that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now we got air and lights. Let's just pop.
pop another interior in it. Pop another locker in it. There we go. We have now found the Aurora Rendezvous point. We've had a look at the island, which was over there. We've had a quick look anyway. We've had a really good look at the gun. I, I, I really want to start building. I need to go and find some wrecks. I'm, oh, I've got all this stuff to do. There's the other island over there. I think I might do the other, the other island. I've done Life Pod 19, so we can turn that off. I still haven't built a base. What is this, like, episode 6? And I haven't built a base yet. The, the storyline is so busy. It's, it's good. It's a good thing. I, I, it's unbelievable. I haven't even had a chance to build a massive base. There. I think we're going to do the island next time. There's so much stuff on that island to bring back. I'd, l I'd have loved some storage first. The building is going to be a thing. I am going to build a massive base. You guys keep asking for it. So I am going to do it very, very soon. But as you can see, we have not run out of things to do by far. I've got so much to explore. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Layers.